out here in the field uh, this Persian clover there very edible most uh, I won't say most all clovers are edible cooked raw whatever today I want to talk about dockweed now this is what what you call curly dock or some refer to it as yellow dock uh, I live in a pretty sandy soil it's not real fertile so this plant when fully mature could reach four feet plus high and every bit of it is edible we just imagine it as spinach and you would cook it like spinach the reason they call it curly dock is because you see how the edge of the leaves will curl up and these seed pods when they get mature they turn brown also edible you would treat those just like you would buckwheat grind them up or parch them and use them for like coffee today I'm gonna pick some fry up some bacon and then put it in a little pot, add a little water, and cut it up, and cook it like spinach. I live a pretty subsistence lifestyle, I guess. Uh, don't go to the grocery store much. Don't buy meat in the grocery store at all. So, I do have a weakness of Burger King, McDonald's, but I, I don't buy meat in the grocery store. Uh, if I eat meat, it comes out of the freezer and the meat came out of the woods. Uh, most of my greenery I pick out of the field or comes out of the woods. So, uh, maybe kind of strange to some people, but don't really care for boxed foods. Anything that comes in a box, pre made, that you would buy in the grocery store, don't think uh, it's real healthy. For humans to be eating prepackaged food so I try not to eat a whole lot of it I I, uh, I buy whole grain brown rice and stone ground whole wheat and stone ground cornmeal and things like that and coffee of course and uh, even if I buy peanut butter it's if, I, if it's got more than if it's got more than than uh, two ingredients on the on the ingredients list of the jar it stays on the shelf so but anyway that's a different video I just wanted to highlight the the dock and uh, all dock weed is edible and it's pretty easy to distinguish the dock because of the long leaves now like I said I don't live in a very fertile land my land's not very fertile here it's real sandy soil but these leaves they will get huge this plant grows up to four feet and the seed heads get enormous there's thousands and thousands of seeds that uh and you'll know when they're ready because they turn completely brown it's uh, a big part of my diet in the throughout the spring and the summer uh, this plant will grow in all of the warm season uh, and in the winter time it, well in in Louisiana it grows year-round so but when it gets really really hot out in the south they pretty much diminish but you have the seed heads that you can collect and like I said grind them up like you would buckwheat or roast them and and uh, use them for a coffee substitute so there's your dockweed I'm gonna pick some and the leaves when you when you pick the leaves you don't want to pick the whole plant I mean you you know just like you would any other green you you go through and you pick the leaves the ones that are the ones that are mature uh, you pick the ones that are mature you don't want to get down to the very bottom because there might be bugs or whatever see here's a here's a younger one that sprouted up right here but you you don't pick every leaf you just go through and you pick individual leaves and that way the plant the plant just keeps growing uh, it'll, it'll grow new leaves and I have them scattered all over my field I do not use herbicides in my field um, 
I do not use pesticides, so <laughs> I, I, I think that's a, another downfall of society. But uh, anyway, there you go, guys. There is, let me back up here a little bit. There's your dockweed plant. Hope it was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.